lights, camera, action. Welcome to Soho and Nice Sessions, everyone. I'm artist Karma Soleil, multi-genre composer and musician. And today we're talking about how to use samples. Now, originally, sampling was taking part of an existing song, chopping it up, and creating something new with it. You've heard many people do this. Beyonce did it with Crazy in Love. She used In Deeps, A DJ Saved My Life. But today I'm going to show you how you can do it too, using free software plugins, virtual instruments, and my free sample pack, Smoothie Beats. I like smoothies. So I want to keep this complex topic of sampling simple. I'm only going to talk about three styles of sampling to get you started. So let's begin with style number one. All right, so I've already opened up my DAW and we're going to start with the style number one of how to use samples. Now I think style number one is best for hobbyists or people that don't intend to monetize or distribute their music because this is the style that you don't really change or add different things. It's more of an arranger role of making music. It's not really creating. It's Most of your creativity is in the arrangement. But we're just going to go into details a little bit about it. So let's begin. I've already pre-loaded my samples in here and let's go through them. You will see four here. These are from my Smoothie Beats sample pack. And you will also see these two right here. These are from other free, royalty-free sample sites like Cymatics. And this one, I can't remember where I got it from, but I will link all of this below to help you guys find the samples that works for you. All right. So of course, as usual, before we begin anything, let's listen to what we've got to work with. All right, so you get the idea with what we've got to work with. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make some kind of pattern into these first four beats here. Okay, let's say I wanna do that more times and that's my introduction. We're just going to make a simple eight bar pattern for now to give you an idea of how to use these samples. All right, maybe we'll put that one at the end that's how we'll end that. All right, so yeah, I want that to go at the end as well. So this is the arranger part that I was telling you about. It's just, okay, where do I want that sound to go? And for the last one. So that one's a little more complicated. I'm thinking I might wanna do something else with that because just who I am. So what I might do is I'll leave that there like that, remove this one, and here we go. So let's hear all three of these together for the full eight bar pattern. All right, so that sounded a bit funky. Um, but because the time is a little different, this is where the creativity comes in with this pack that I loved making gonna enable the metronome because it's still in time it's just a offbeat rhythmic time all right so let's hear it with the metronome so that you know where the beat stands all right so not so bad now that we've got our drums here let's listen to this other sample, um, these melodic samples here, and see what it sounds like. Let's listen to cymatics first. All 
Okay, so you'll notice that this sample in particular, it kind of stops. So here's what we can do with that. Let's short, shorten this out a bit. Uh, add a fade, duplicate, boom. We've got our sample and we're gonna end that at eight bars. So let's just listen to that. So not bad. Let's listen to what it would sound like with the other sample. All right, so you guys get the idea. So that's a basic melody. It sounds like it's missing something, right? So you could stop right there and just have some kind of chill hop lo-fi, or you can go on to style number two, which is adding more things. I've already loaded one, pre-loaded the house Scion Sonic. Um, let's say we want a bass line. I don't know what kind of bass, so let's just go with some kind of bass. What I usually do is I listen, I listen back, I play around with it. So let me just play around with it for a bit until I can find a bass line that I'm comfortable with here. I don't know, that could work. <laughs> okay, kind of liking that one. Okay, so now that we've got some kind of subsonic bass, maybe you're feeling like, oh, let's add some something more to it. Um, so I'll go into uh, my loops or my files and I'll find something. I think it needs like some sort of shakers, like ch -ch 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 some kind of extra sound it might need. So let me look for some sounds that might give this a little extra vibe. Okay, so that was an example of how to do sampling with style number one. Now style number two, this one is more for you indie pro producers and musicians. This is how you make the sample your own. Um, so one of the main reasons why I say style number one is good for hobbyists is because sometimes you're going to find that other people have used the sample as is and you're going to hear it exactly as it sounds in another song. I'll give you an example from one of my songs that I created and I didn't chop it up or anything. I just said, that's a good FM road sound. I'm just going to use that sample. It's a basic chord progression that's used in all jazz pieces. And my song was flagged because it belonged to someone else, but it's a royalty free sample. That's using style number one. So. It's okay, but at the same time, if you're looking for more individuality with your music, then I recommend styles two and three. So we've got this Smoothie Beats sample pack from me, Soulful and Nice. Um, so let's splice it up and make it our own. 
In fact, let's let's try to do that. Okay, so we've got something going on with the beat. I changed it up a bit to make it more unique. It doesn't sound exactly like what the original sample was. Now we can take that a step further and add some effects to it. This is where it gets fun. So if I wanted to, I could go back to my instruments and add an effect of some sort. Or my effects, sorry. Let me get into my effects. So let's say I wanna add something crazy i don't know what to add um uh let's add a flanger yeah let's add a flanger to this see what that sounds like let's solo the, that drum pattern again and let's see what happens let's do this kind of flanger So now that we've got something a little more original sounding, let's add the rest of that stuff, the fun, you know, percussion loops. The good thing about when you buy sample packs or download free sample packs is that it will automatically adjust to your BPM. Now here I have my BPM at 120, and as you notice, this was at 120, but the other one was at 155. It automatically adjusts to whatever your project BPM is, which is a great thing. My samples also do that. So if I wanted to slow it down or speed it up, we can definitely do that. Changes the groove of something. So we can even do that if we wanted to. Okay, so let's uh, just unmute that and let's listen to what it all sounds like. Um, let's see, let's get rid of some. See, let's create some dynamics here, some dynamics and style. idea so that was style number two it's it's great for indie musicians pro musicians and composers um, and it helps your song sound more original especially when you're just taking free or royalty free samples um, so that you don't have to worry about licensing if you want to make a lot of money um, making something that you created you don't want to have to worry about licenses 
So style number two is a good way to do that so that you don't have to worry about any of that. It's more original, as you can see, and we can layer more and more instruments on top of this, but let's stop there for now and go into style number three. So style number three is a lot like style number two, but this time we are going to do more of the original sampling method. And that is to take a sample, slice it up, piece it together, and make it something completely new and different. And with this, we can do a lot of different types of effects, as you've seen with the modulating or delay. We can make an entirely new sound with this method. So give me some time to set this up and I'm just going to run through the process and you will see what I mean. All right, so in Studio One, one way to make multiple different sample sounds of a sound that you've received is to select the entire track, right click and go to Event and Split at Grid. So what it's doing is it's splitting at the grid that you have selected based upon your quantize uh, quantifier. For example, I have 1 16th, so that's why you see smaller sections here. But had I done something different, so let's select that and change my quantize to 1 4th, so that's a quarter note. And now I'm going to do the same event, split at grid, and it's going to do it in quarter note sections, one beat sections. Um, sometimes that works. Uh, let's see. Let's see what that sounds like, just to give us an idea of what we're working with here. Because it's not always the sound that you want. You have to play with this a little to know, okay, this is where I want this to split so I can make something entirely new and different. Okay. Okay, well, it's good enough. I think I would actually prefer to do something different, come to think about it. So I'm going to undo that and do a half note because I have an idea. Uh, so let me listen to that. Okay, so that works for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these again, right click, and then I'm going to go into audio and I'm going to send it to this lovely impact. So when I send something to impact, it puts those same sounds that I just created onto these pads. So let's listen. Now that's great, and you can also make it different. You can change it to a one-shot, a loop, normal, um, follow the tempo, which I highly recommend, like you want, and then however long you hold it, it maintains that sound. And then it's also assigned to my keys, so C1. So that's what that sounds like. So I'm just going to play around and get creative and record this to our project. Okay, so now that we've sliced up the cymatic sample, let's give it a listen and hear what it sounds like. You do have to mute the original so that it's not playing, and this is the new one. The one right below it is the new sample that you just did, this blank one. So let's hear what it all sounds like together, and I'll put this one above so that we know the ones below here are the ones we're not using. 
So let's do it and hear it all together. Let's unmute everything aside from this one here. And here we go. We've just created our own sample. Please do not take this because it's mine. You have to create your own, <laughs> okay? So don't take my ideas, create your own. Just use mine as a reference on how to do it, okay? So let's listen to what we did. So the last thing left to do is to mix, master, and post. <sighs> we did it. We have used the Soulful and Nice Smoothie Beat Sample Pack and made something new and different. And you have learned three styles to use samples and make it your own original music. So remember you can download this information from the description link below and from my website. So until next time, stay soulful and nice.